It's that time of the year again when the clocks change. This can cause us to feel jet lagged without even going anywhere. Today we'll take a look at why the clocks change and what we can do to prepare for it. I'm Dr. Nushi Bhopal. I'm a board certified physician specializing in integrative psychiatry and sleep medicine. Why do we even change the clocks in the spring and again in the fall in the first place? Daylight saving time was implemented to help save energy. Germany was the first country to implement daylight saving time back in 1916 during the First World War. Shortly afterwards, the rest of Europe, Britain, Canada, and the US followed suit, and then it was in the 1960s that it actually became a regular thing across the United States. We've all heard the adage, spring forward, fall back. This year, the clocks will go back on November 1st by one hour, ending daylight saving time and reverting back to standard time. Even though it's just a one hour change, it can actually have a significant impact on the body clock. A lot of us do enjoy that extra hour of sleep in the fall when the clocks go back, but that forward time change, moving the clocks forward by one hour in the spring can actually be hazardous to health. The transition to daylight saving time in the spring is associated with an increased rate of heart attacks, stroke, workplace injuries, motor vehicle accidents, depression, and even an increased rate of suicide. Daylight saving time is less aligned with human circadian physiology and our natural body rhythms. This year, the AASM, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, came out with a statement supporting a switch to permanent standard time year round. In 2018, the state of California, where I currently live, voted to end uh, the clock change and stay on daylight saving time year round. This hasn't been implemented yet because legislative action is still pending. A little further north of here in British Columbia, uh, a province on the west coast of Canada where I grew up, is also introducing a measure to stay on daylight saving time permanently year round. Staying on daylight saving time year round is actually seen to be problematic by researchers as it's less aligned with circadian physiology, our natural body clock, as I mentioned, and it also results in darker mornings, especially in the winter and especially as you go further up north. Darker mornings and brighter evenings result in a misalignment of the body clock and difficulty waking up in the morning and then difficulty going to sleep. This misalignment leads to the serious health issues that I mentioned earlier and also negatively affects work performance and productivity. Instead of staying on permanent daylight saving time year round, experts recommend reverting to standard time year round. Now, we're switching to standard time next weekend on November 1st. This switch is usually easier because the clocks go back and we get an extra hour of sleep. As I mentioned, even that one hour time change can be difficult to adjust to. So if you tend to have difficulty adjusting to the clock change, a few simple things can help you adjust to the new time zone. Get a dose of bright light and you can do this by opening up your curtains and your blinds to get nice bright light in your home. You can also go outside for the dose of bright light and go for a walk or do a little bit of light exercise midday or in, in the early afternoon. And this will also help combat some of the fatigue and tiredness that we experience with the time change. And another simple thing to do is to eat your meals on time on the new schedule. On Sunday, let yourself wake up naturally and enjoy that extra hour of sleep. Most of us are sleep deprived at baseline and could really use that extra hour. Then notice how you feel after the extra hour of sleep. Do you feel more rested? Do you feel more energized, more focused, more productive, more calm? Just take note of how it feels to get that extra hour. Then see if there are any changes you want to incorporate into your routine based on what you noticed about how you felt with that extra hour of sleep. Maybe you'll want to go to bed a little bit earlier Maybe you'll want to cut down on sleep disruptors like caffeine or alcohol. Maybe you'll want to start a wind down routine in the evening to help you relax before you go to bed. If you're usually a good sleeper and you find yourself having trouble adjusting after the clocks change, be patient with yourself. Even that one hour time change can be disruptive to the body clock, just like when you're traveling to another time zone. So give yourself a little bit of time to adjust. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also sign up for my weekly newsletter to get more bite-sized tips on well-being. The link to the newsletter is in the video description and is also available on my website at intrabalance.com.